So what do relative and absolute concepts really mean? And uh, how do we utilize relative and absolute com concepts to critically think for self-analysis? Okay, so the tool, the tool of relative versus absolute is, is a very, it's a very powerful tool for getting to a place where you you feel resolved. Mm -hmm. First, let's unpack you know the the two words and how they are complementary of one another, and then how they are in service to creating this resolution or this sort of peaceful. You know, you're trying. Every human being at some point is is trying to get to a place where they feel at peace. Mm -hmm. Tension is, our, is the greatest killer of, <laughs> of mankind. Mm -hmm. Tension in the form of anxiety or stress. When we arrive at a place where we feel um, resolved, it's another way of saying we feel at peace sure. about yeah. something. Um, and then getting, you know, to get to a place where we feel resolved and at peace, it's understanding what for us as again as a human is understanding are we safe or not safe okay you know yeah. it's it's all about that arriving at that place mm -hmm. so if you're trying to make sense and this is critical thinking you're trying to make sense of something that's happened to you mm -hmm. you have to be able to get out your microscope it's your critical thinking tool and then you need to put under you need to put the problem under it right and then you're observing it and you're saying okay is this absolute or relative in terms of its behavior its effect mm -hmm. and so let's take you know let's use an example right. um you've in your life uh you've just lost your job okay and you're trying to arrive at a, a sense of safety around the situation. Okay. Yeah. And you are wanting to take this tool and make the distinction of, of, this, of the problem, and a problem being an opportunity mm. to critically think. Mm -hmm. Every problem reveals an opportunity for you to exercise intelligence sure yeah definitely, definitely okay it also provides you with an opportunity to exercise emotional control yeah and decision making uh you know um agility mm -hmm. it, it, there's a number of things that you get to do every time you get a problem mm -hmm. and that's why problems are so incredible and so important yeah and it's so it's so uh, it's so necessary for us to see problems as things that are in service to our personal growth toward happiness. Yeah, that's a really good way of looking at things. To like take accountability as opposed to just saying, "Oh, everything happens for a reason," mm -hmm. you know, and then just leaving it at that and hoping that. It resolves itself right it's 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 really being like a mathematician might see life mm -hmm. as ooh I love problems yeah. uh, because they a mathematician would look at a mathematical problem as an opportunity to exercise their skill mm -hmm. yeah uh, a scientist or an engineer who's given uh, the task of building a bridge mm -hmm. is tasked with something that's going to require problem solving skills which means exercising uh your your uh experience exercising your patience exercising your wisdom exercising your uh your possibly your leadership mm -hmm. depending on if you're in charge of the project yeah. so the beauty of problems is that they do offer us uh, layers of of different applications of practice mm -hmm. of something you know something that makes up you know the extraordinary you yeah. yeah so 
when you look at a problem like losing your job, you you say, okay, first of all, and again, I'm, this is how I use the word absolute and relative, or use the term and the concept. And I don't want, you know, if you're observing, you know, this and you're listening, you're thinking, okay, I, I could use absolute and relative in other ways. Of course you can. This is just one way to apply the concept or the tool. So if you think about, I lose my job and I say, okay, is this absolutely going to affect the rest of my life? Mm -hmm. uh, is, is this, is this um, you know, is it absolutely, uh, which means to understand absolute, which means forever, <laughs> you know? It, it, it's the word in, in itself implies yeah. absolute. Yeah. There, there's no, there is no going back and there is no, um, there's no other way to see it, but as a whole, it's not in parts. Mm -hmm. It's absolute. It's entire, you know, in, in its yeah. entirety. So it's it's a complete uh, and 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 you know and um, whole. Which, in a situation like that, is you know, is it absolutely necessary for you to say something when you're angry? Is it absolutely is it, is, it, is it an absolute tragedy for you to lose your job? Or is it only a relative tragedy? Is it a relative problem? Mm -hmm. Meaning that it's only a problem in relation to the time, you know, that you may lose or the, or, uh, the time it may take you to get another job. Yeah. But is it an absolute problem? Mm -hmm. Is it an absolute, I mean, the beauty of the universe is really nothing tends to be absolute. Okay. Things yeah. can seem absolute. Yeah. The universe in itself seems absolute, mm -hmm. except it has an origin, which would make it not absolute in some way. Mm -hmm. And again, we're playing with, uh, we're playing a little bit with words and yeah. concepts, but still. So, you know, is it absolutely necessary for you to respond like this? Uh, that's a way of using absolute, mm -hmm. you know, and meaning that, yes, 100%, if I don't do this, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, there's, there's something that's going to be uh, lost uh, that is c impossible to recover. Yeah. So the idea of, you know, is this an absolute tragedy or a relative tragedy? Is it an absolute problem or a relative problem? And I would argue that all problems are relative, mm -hmm. they're, which means they're in relation to the moment, to the circumstances, to whatever period of time that they, you know, uh, as an example, another way of playing with this is you are, let's say right now, you have put the last 10 years of your life into becoming an internal combustion engine mechanic, okay, which is what a current car is, 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 is um, that's its engineering, mm -hmm. is an internal combustion engine. That's how it, that's how it, you know, it uh, produces energy to move. But we're moving towards electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. At some point, the knowledge that you gained is, is it absolute knowledge or is it relative knowledge? Mm -hmm. And again, it's relative as long as there are ice engines yeah. for you to work on. Yeah. As long as once internal combustion engines disappear, yeah. like the wagon wheel, yeah. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. fixing a wagon wheel is not something that is um, a relative, it's not an absolute skill, it's mm -hmm. a relative skill. Mm -hmm. So you can use it relative to its value or relative to its application or to its n need, you know. So it's sort of understanding, sometimes we can get really caught up in these ideas that something feels absolute when in fact it's actually relative. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a great, if you can sort of keep playing with this when it's time to solve problems, you know, you grab that tool and you say, okay, uh, you know, in a relative way, this is just another thing happening, and it's just, and, it, and and this will change, and this will, you know, and but absolutely, uh, you know, 
it, it only matters as long as there's some type of effect that I can experience from it. So in other words, the, you know, right now, if you, if you do something today, it might have a relative impact, but the, but the absolute impact of it is impossible right. because as soon as you die and the people that were affected by the decision you made mm -hmm. die and let's or let's just say that the entire population of homo sapiens gets wiped out on the planet everything anyone has ever done at the end of the day literally has no mm -hmm. trace yeah it, there's no so so and I know this is very mystic and esoteric in a way. If people can feel it's quite esoteric because it sounds, it sounds, you know, that it sort of wanders away mm -hmm. from a very practical stance, but it's actually very practical. It's pretty logical. It's very logical in the sense that the, 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 the decisions that you make are, are almost, if not completely, relative decisions. Yeah, yeah. They're not absolute decisions. So why is it that people seem to be more inclined to veer towards an absolute mindset. Because for human beings, it feels more, things feel more absolute because we don't have the ability. It's, it's, we, and we have the ability. So that's, let me, let me just, you know, cancel out that statement. <laughs> we do have the ability to see the world in and we should practice seeing the world in rel in a relative way mm -hmm. but we our emotions drive us to want to see the absolute like it's so absolutely important mm -hmm. that you hear me yeah it's absolutely like yeah. I, I i i and and we even use absolute in our language which we talk about in a different uh mind science tutorial we talk about using words like I will never, I will always. So even, even as an example, if I say I will always love you, mm -hmm. I will never leave you. Yeah. These are just simply not accurate or true statements because people change even when they don't themselves want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> even when you yeah. decide I will never change, you know, it's impossible for you, as I said before, to even predict your next thought. So it's impossible for you to predict who you're going to be in five years, mm -hmm. in 10 years. As you literally neurologically change, mm -hmm. you will also change your beliefs and yeah. your perceptions. And so the idea that anything is absolute is in a way naive and and further, to, to further unpack it, it's become such a, such a common part of our vernacular, absolute words, mm -hmm. never, always, um, forever. It's romantic, huh? It, it's incredibly romantic, yeah. but it's incredibly emotional. Yeah. Because it really is not rooted in, in evidence, yeah. truth, yeah. reality which would tell you, because evidence would tell you nothing is forever. Mm -hmm. There is no such thing as never mm -hmm. <laughs> in that way. You know, it, it's, 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 it's basically, I mean, you know, uh, if, if I say to you, I will, I will never um, do something and then I kill myself, mm. that's the only way for me to absolutely be, <laughs> you know, for me to be my word yeah. is to claim something and then in my life. And so there can be no, you know, there can be no debate yeah. about it. So of course there are little ways you can play with this, loopholes. these little dilemmas, these little yeah, loopholes to critical thinking and logic and reason. But the general issue here for people is they oftentimes can't make the distinction between what is absolute and what is relative. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, you know, whatever, you know, whatever is occurring to you right now or whatever decision you need to make right now, you need to understand how it's affecting you in a relative manner mm -hmm. because absolutely it doesn't matter. Right. Okay. 
absolutely all the work you do right now, all the, you want to save the whales? Because at the end of the day, absolutely, it doesn't make a difference. Mm. It only makes a difference in a relative way. It, it affects what you're related to right now. It affects what's related to that decision. Mm -hmm. But in an absolute sense, it doesn't make any difference because if you think of the universe from start to end or whatever that might be, there's no way for you to make a decision mm -hmm. that is absolute. Mm -hmm. all your decisions are relative yeah. because given, given the fact that you're, you're like, you know, I'm going to save the wells and I'm and like, yeah, well that could make a relative impact, yeah. but it, absolutely you have to understand that there's no absolute impact. So you can, what, the reason I think this is such an important distinction is because it helps people make peace mm -hmm. with the fact that, at the end of the day, there's only so much you can do. Yeah. There's only so much relative impact. There's only so much you can change in, in, in what is related to you, mm -hmm. in what you are in relation with. Yeah. So the idea that you're going to, as an example, you're going you're gonna, to uh, eradicate world hunger. And you're like, my efforts are going to make a difference. Well, they'll make a difference in a relative way, yeah. but they won't make a difference in an absolute way because in an absolute way, there will always be hunger. Mm -hmm. There is no animal in the animal kingdom. There are no insects. There's nothing that does not face hunger, mm -hmm. that does not face uh, drought, uncertainty, that does not face nature as it is a chaotic, beautiful, chaotic mess, mm -hmm. but that's what makes it balanced is that chaotic nature the, the or the, the 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 chaotic quality of nature yeah it's not that nature is not ordered it in fact is very disorganized but in this beautiful organized way mm -hmm. so in other words its organization is its disorganization it's okay. it's 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 balance and harmony and congruency is its chaos it's extremes here that create extremes over there that keep it keeps battling uh -huh. with being in the middle yeah. so things get pulled over here that then forces something to react right. heavily over here yeah. that then pulls yeah. things back over here yeah. so the, the nature of nature yeah. is, dynamic. is absolutely is constantly trying to be congruent which yeah. is in in harmony with itself and balance yeah. with itself yeah. so it's very chaotic in yeah. that sense and so understanding that 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 when you making decisions in your life, it's like, you know, I can, I can decide to do this, mm -hmm. but it's not going to make an absolute difference. It's only going to make a relative difference. Mm -hmm. And I have to be okay. And I have to accept and embrace that. But I, so I need to, so also back away from, you know, using, uh, you know, terms and making statements, um, uh, uh, developing uh, ideas or beliefs that my actions Mm -hmm. are going to have some absolute impact. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to absolutely save this, this uh, endangered species from going extinct. Mm -hmm. I'm going to absolutely make that. And you can't, there is mm -hmm. no ab, you will not be able to, because even if you as a human being can in fact stop a species from going extinct, that's not absolute. It's mm -hmm. only re relative to the time frame in which you can have effect. Okay. The time frame in which you can participate in preserving that li the life of that species. As soon as you're gone, I mean, who preserved the life of all of the dinosaurs that were, you know, immediately, you know, uh, that immediately died when the meteorite that hit the Gulf of Mexico struck, there was an immediate, you know, extinction of many, many, many yeah. uh, species. So, so, and, and by the way, what, there's nothing saying that there's a, another meteorite's not going to hit the earth. I mean, sure. again, you can play this game and the reason I just keep going, mm -hmm. I keep playing with different ways of seeing it is because sometimes people get really stuck and they're like, no, mm -hmm. I can make an absolute difference. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you can make a relative difference. And that's why the beauty of understanding the distinction is understanding that you can't do anything absolutely gives you, it gives you peace.
Mm -hmm. if you can if you can really sit with it that there that there's nothing i can actually affect absolutely do you think that it could also conflict with someone's sense of purpose or motivation to actually act <laughs> if like you start getting into yeah. a really relative mindset it can it can be an incredible disruption mm -hmm. for a person who is really committed to doing something yeah. when if you look at them and say you know absolutely yeah. at the end of the day this is only going to have you know so much effect mm -hmm. and and you know what that's absolutely quote unquote mm -hmm. fine mm -hmm. like and, I, and that's there's a there's there's a proper use of the word in this sentence it's absolutely fine mm -hmm. if you want to do something to do it mm -hmm. but it, there's only going to be a relative amount of impact and effect mm -hmm. and and in a way causation mm -hmm. uh and 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 uh, you know because of course the ripple effect of of our behavior is felt for long 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 periods of time mm -hmm. but they can also be they can also like all things in nature the ripple effect of an action also comes to stillness too mm, yeah you know, like, again, you're like, no, if, if, if something, the butterfly effect, if something happens, you know, it goes on and on and effect. And I, yes, until it stops. And, and that is the thing to understand about inertia. Any object, whether it is <clears throat> a belief, it is a physical thing, whatever, at some point after it loses momentum, it's, its nature is to come to rest. Yes. Its nature is to return to stillness. So. So this is what's important is that everything has, uh, it has a certain kind of, and this is universe included, of course, it has a blueprint, it has a, a behavior uh, pattern that in a way it is, it is beholden to, mm. you know, it, 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 it is as it is until it isn't. And again, I, you know, yeah. to, to play with the words, but because it is evident that the nature of things is to come to rest, there can be no absolute mm -hmm. um, and, and infinite, if you will, expansion of anything mm. and there can be no absolute and infinite contraction of anything and that's just the way the universe behaves which brings you back to absolute versus relative so you know every anything that anything that you touch there's a relative impact to the touch mm -hmm. but to suggest that there's an absolute impact to the touch would be contradicting everything that that is self-evident mm -hmm. about nature yeah. and the universe in terms of how it it, it it behaves yeah does that make sense definitely yeah